Good afternoon. How's everyone? Good. <laughs> um, me and Manaya, we're going to go to London in a bit. Um, we're going to say goodbye to Brother Philip Blair from Torch of Christ Ministries. Um, it's his last day. And uh, also hook up with um, Chelsea from Jesus is Truth and uh, bring her over to my yard because she's going to chill with me for about a week or so and uh, probably do some vlogs together. I'll take her to my boat and what have you. So, there's, yeah, it's going to be fun week <laughs> yeah um anyway um i thought i'd make a quick video because like um yeah um lately i've been kind of fellowshipping with um brothers and sisters um and i've connected with some brothers and sisters in this country finally you know um and uh one of them brothers uh he's in birmingham up north uh it's about a four hour drive or so and um anyway we were chit-chatting and uh he was a bit concerned for me um he was saved like 13 odd years ago in prison and uh he was saying that you know his testimony he was like pouring it out you know sharing his testimony and what have you and he just got burnt out and uh he just felt like no one was pouring into him you know he was wasn't supported and uh, so he was kind of concerned for me, like, Rav, you know, have you got people around you kind of thing? And I said, yeah, I do, I do, but yeah, I get what you're saying, you know? And, um, and I said, you know, like, I do make time, a lot of time to go into the word and ask Jesus to kind of support me, you know? Like, give me the strength and courage to continue with this mission. Because it's his mission that I'm, obedient to you know he, he's, he's got me doing this <laughs> um so yeah he asked me a question um this brother and uh, he was saying so what's your take on um free grace as opposed to um salvation by works and uh so i was saying well um it's pretty simple with me like you know um like i believe that jesus um done all the work that was necessary on that cross that cross what he done there was sufficient you know he died for all of us you know he shed his holy blood to wash away our filthy sins he took that all on himself and uh, and then he said it is finished he done the job and for us to just like think that we need to do our work and i'm saying our i'll come back to that so our work so in a way to impress him and you know glorify the lord in in saying you know god look i i've done this for you i've done that for you and remember it is written you know on judgment day when peeps go but god i i've done all these these things for you you know i healed people i i gave charity or i done this or that and god's saying no nah, mate i don't know you and why would he say that he would say that because he you didn't have that relationship with him you didn't understand that work he done on the cross you you cannot do anything to impress him you know it just wants you to believe in him and what he had done for us you know that he died you know and after three days he was resurrected 500 more people saw him witnessed that then he was ascended you know to the heavens and sits right beside our father you know he's alive we ask him to come into our lives so he liveth within us you know and then he takes over he takes over this vessel and he then wants you to do his works not our works his works for the kingdom and so this is it this is it this is what is necessary you know romans 10 9 to 10 says it all you've got to confess with your mouth believeth with your heart that jesus you know he done the work for us he saved us it's a free gift so yes you know free grace 
I do believe in that. But I also believe in the fact that now we don't just sit there and do nothing. We're his humble servants. We've got work to do for the kingdom. And we listen to him. He's the one who commands us, tells us, do this, do that, do this. You know, what are we supposed to do? Well, he commands us to go and sow seeds, spread the gospel all around the world. You know, I mean, ultimately, he knows who's coming to him and who isn't, you know, who will, you know, surrender to him and who won't. He knows who that is. It's like, yes, you know, a lot of the Calvinists said, yeah, Rav, you are a Calvinist. I said, really, am I? You know, Jesus chose you. You know, you didn't choose Jesus. That's right, yeah, Jesus did choose me. I, I surrendered, though, and I said, Lord, God, whoever you are, you know, show me. I surrender. I can't do this by myself, and I don't want to anymore. So, and Jesus, you know, he revealed himself. The Holy Spirit came onto me and my daughter. So, yeah, you know, I, I willingly asked the Lord to come into my life. I believed in the gospel. I believed what he'd done on the cross was enough. And I'm so grateful, every single day I'm grateful that Jesus would die for me, you know. So, um, you know, now, I mean, I'm out there, I I'm doing God's work. He, he wants me to go and evangelise, you know. Um, he's given me a big mouthful about, I suppose. Um, and I'm not ashamed, as, as I said, you know, I come from a Sikh background that was, you know, fear was not a thing for me. I grew up as a warrior. And now I'm a warrior for Christ, you know, and I'm not ashamed. I will go out there and spread the gospel to everyone, you know. Um, so, yeah, I, I know this is what the Lord wants me to do. He's put that on my heart. And, um, yeah, so I, I also bought, you know, with God's, you know, um, blessings, I, I was able to buy 50 of these pocket size King James New Testament Bible with Psalms in it. Um, these are for non-believers, you know, like, I think the best book will part will be, um, oh, sorry, Lord. Um, the best book will be uh, John, you know, um, I've encouraged my son to read the um, book of John. It, it gives you the insight of who Jesus Christ is and what he had done for us, you know. And um, this will be the beginning for them to eventually purchase the whole book. But this is a start. Go out there and give it the word, spread the word. Um, and, you know, I, I love singing. So, you know, I, I, I'm going to not just um, speak of my testimony, um, you know, the gospel itself, and also sing the Lord's hymns. Um, so I've got myself a mic and a speaker. And I'm out there, mate. Yeah, me and Manaya. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I just wanted to, like, um, yeah, share this scripture with you. Like, so, the first uh, will be, like, um, it's to do with grace. And then I'm going to talk about uh, works um, through our faith, you know. Um, so, uh, Ephesians uh, chapter 2. Um, verse 8 and 9 for by grace are ye saved through faith and that not of yourselves it is the gift of God not of works lest any man should boast and that's the thing you know like pride gets into it you know I'm the chosen one you know God chose me yeah you know, many are called, and if you are chosen, that's right. But he did die for everyone. He died for everyone. And he knows who will come to him and who won't. You know, we don't need to, you know, be big-headed about it. You know, we are supposed to spread the gospel because we don't know who is going to come to the Lord and who isn't. 
But we got to do his job and spread the gospel to everyone, everyone. James chapter four, verse six. But he giveth more grace, wherefore he said, God resisteth the, the proud, but giveth grace unto the humble. Romans five, verse eight. But God commendeth his love towards us, in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. And John chapter 1 verse 16. And of his fullness have all we received and grace for grace. I love all that. Just perfect, isn't it? Um, and so yeah, James chapter 2 verse 14 to 26. I'm going to read the whole of this. Um, and as I said, you know, it is not our works. We now do God's work. He tells us what to do. So, you know, um, free grace doesn't even mean that, yeah, okay, now that I'm saved, I'm going to continue sinning. No, nah, mate, you don't do that. God did say, you know, Jesus said, and sin no more. You know, it comes from the heart. You've got to have a clean heart. When you're saved, you feel horrible, disgraceful when you have sinned. You go into prayer and repent. I mean, I have a daily repentance, you know? Little things, little white lie, thinking, oh, it's okay. No, he ain't. A lie is a lie at the end of the day. You know, if I get angry with my daughter, I don't want to get angry with her, or my boys, but sometimes as a mum, you do. You get frustrated because you said the same thing over and over again, but, you know, then you realise, oh, I love her. You know, and she knows I love her. That's why I have a go at her. You know, and that's like our Lord too. You know, he loves us. And sometimes he lets us do something that we're not supposed to do, you know. And we pay the consequences. We learn. We come back to him and said, sorry, Lord, forgive us. So, James chapter 2, verse 14 to 26 and by the way, I am a bit d dyslexic. The words kind of move and start dancing. So if I do stutter a little bit, that's because um, my own little, you know, disorder. <laughs> um, but I, I'm getting better. I'm getting much better. Reading the King James Bible, you know, it's just great because um, it's, it's improved my reading a lot. Um, I have no problem with grammar. Writing is fine. But sometimes reading and the words just kind of like dance about just makes me all freaked out a little bit so here we go um what doth it profit my brethren though a man may he have faith and have not works can faith save him if a brother or sister be naked and destitute of daily food and one of you say unto them depart in peace be ye warmed and filled notwithstanding Ye give them not those things which are needful to the body. What doth it profit? Even so faith, if it hath not works, is dead being alone. Ye a man may say thou hast faith, and I have works. Show me thy faith without thy works, and I will show thee my faith by my works. Thou believest that there is one God, and thou doest well. The devils also believe and tremble. But that, but will thou know, O vain man, that faith without works is dead? Was not Abraham our father justified by works when he had offered Isaac his son upon the altar? Seeth thou how faith wrought with his works, and by works was faith made perfect? And the scripture was fulfilled with which said, Abraham believeth God, and it was inputted unto him for righteousness, and he was called the friend of God. Ye see then how that by works a man is justified, and not by faith only. Likewise also with not Rahab the harlot justified by works, when she had received the messengers, and had sent them out another way. For as the body without the spirit is dead, 
So faith without works is dead also. We've got to get the balance right. You know, there's people who are one extreme to another. It's both. We've got to get the balance right. Free grace and works. His works though, isn't it? Um, just like, you know, how I feel about, you know, the Pharisees and the watered down Christians, you know. <laughs> Got to be on fire for Jesus, you know. Have time for him. Have that relationship with him. Go in deep prayer. Your secret relationship in that closet, you know. Talk to him. Like you talk to, you know your partner, your children. Have a conversation with him. Listen, he will reveal. He knows your heart, you know? He knows who loves him deeply. Show him, you know? We have a living God, which is amazing. I mean, you look at all these other religions, they all bear down to hell. It is our Father that we look up to, you know? Jesus is who we look up to. Yeah, up to the heavens. We have a living God and he's for real. You know, get your relationship right with Jesus. Time is running out, fam. You know, he's coming back. We best be ready, like, yeah, love you lot. You know, and praise Jesus Christ of Nazareth. For he has done everything for us. And um, we're forever grateful. Love you guys. Yeah, God bless, yeah.